The series of shows set in Chicago has kept us entertaining for years now. It's always fun to see a glimpse behind our favorite shows, so let's check out some of the Chicago Med behind the scenes secrets and funny moments. How does the cast get into character? Which cast members got married? And what outrageous moment happened when reality met fiction? Let's check it all out. Warning, mild spoilers ahead. Which two Chicago Med actors tied the knot in real life? Chicago Med is filled with medical emergencies, drama, and intrigue but they have enough time for some great romance along the way too. And it seems that at least two people that played characters on Chicago Med found time to have romance in the real world too. But if you were hoping that it was one of your favorite ships from the show, then I'm going to have to disappoint you. These two never actually played love interests on the show. The couple who I'm talking about is Colin Donnell, who played Dr. Connor Rhodes, and Patty Murin, who played the pathologist Dr. Nina Shore. Surprisingly, they didn't even meet on Med, but they met in 2013 when they starred together in a musical theater adaptation of William Shakespeare's Love's Labor's Lost. Since getting together and getting married in 2015, they have had a fruitful union with both of them going on to make their own separate things, but still occasionally working together. Murin has played in various other stage adaptations too, and now they've starred in a Hallmark movie together this year. I'm just guessing, but I'm kind of sure that they would both say the biggest thing they have done together is creating a beautiful little girl. How do they operate on the patients on Chicago Med? Sometimes the procedures on the show can look pretty realistic and even kind of bloody. They cut people open and take out parts of them and it kind of makes you wonder if the guest stars on the show are ever worried when their characters have to get operated on. How do they make it all seem so real? There are a few different ways they do it. Sometimes when it's just cutting them open or when the scene calls for the character to be visible and speaking when they have a special prosthetics that are put on top of the actor's own skin and then they cut into that. I must say I would still be a bit weirded out by that. These actors cutting that closely to my own skin? But luckily when it's a big operating scene then they have special stage bodies that they can really get into and play around with. The anatomy of these bodies looks very real but it doesn't have the small factor of a human who will probably try to run away. Much easier to work with. The turnaround on scripts. Another interesting fact from the show is that they get scripts around eight days apiece. Sounds like lots of time to learn lines and get the set ready, but in reality, it sounds like they start filming these scripts almost as soon as they get them. Each one's filmed before the next one comes out. Sometimes that leaves the set department just a day to create all new sets for new areas where they need to film. Sounds like it could be pretty hectic. And for the cast members, some have said that it can be really hard learning their lines because it's almost like learning lines in a different language, the language being medical jargon. It's not like these people actually have any medical training and the medical terms come naturally to them. They need to learn their lines even when they have no real idea of what it actually means. But all that effort pays off because it never comes off feeling unnatural when you're watching the show. Another way that they make sure everything looks real, lots and lots of experts. All the shows in the Chicago range pride themselves on being really realistic and on being really Chicago proud. That's why they have loads of experts on the different fields that the shows portray, most of them having worked in Chicago in these fields for years. In the case of Med, that means that they have some real doctors from Cook County Hospital that work on set as advisors that are available if the cast needs to ask any questions or who can step in when things don't quite add up to how it would work in real life. For other shows like Chicago PD, these experts would be retired or off-duty cops that do the same for them, making sure that each show has plenty of real-world experience added into their shows. The cast works hard to get into character. Learning lines and getting advice on set isn't the only way that some of the cast members like to get into character. Some of them like to shadow real doctors in real hospitals in Chicago so they can get to know the feelings and experiences that these doctors have. With the pandemic, this sadly wasn't allowed for the last few seasons, but the experiences that the actors had in those hospitals had to have been really valuable when playing their characters and expressing their emotions and feelings. Which actors had some heroics that seemed straight out of the show? Which Walking Dead star was set to play on the show? And which real-life Chicago locations inspired the show? We'll answer all these questions next. The Walking Dead star that could have been a doctor 
Lori Holden, who starred in The Walking Dead as Andrea, would have been a major character in Chicago Med too. She played Dr. Hannah Tramble in the Chicago Fire episode that introduced the characters from Med. But then some personal and family issues created a conflict when shooting began and the character was left out of Chicago Med. It could have been a really fun addition, but it might have been pretty weird too. I mean, just imagine a hospital story with a cast member from The Walking Dead. I would kind of expect a patient that's been declared dead to just get back up again. Obviously, that wouldn't really happen, but Lori would have been an incredible addition to the cast. So here's hoping that they can make a plan and have her return to the series in her originally planned character, even just for a guest role. With some of the biggest female leads leaving the show after the last season, this might just be the perfect time to bring Dr. Hannah Tramble into the series. That time, the Halstead brothers really came to the rescue. This story is wild and funny, but only because everyone was okay. It all started when Nick Gelfus, who plays Dr. Will Halstead in Chicago Med, and Jesse Lee Soffer, who plays his brother, Detective Jay Halstead, and mainly appears in Chicago PD, decided to go to dinner together. They were walking back when they witnessed a bad accident. A lady had hit another vehicle in a ditch and the car was lying on its side. They jumped into action and pulled the women out of her car to safety. Then Nick started doing medical care on her and Jesse started cordoning off the scene. Okay, so that last part only happened in my head. But they did call the real police and medical care and they came to take care of the women. I can only imagine what she was thinking. They said it was funny when she recognized them. First, Nick was close to him, and she said, but you're... And then Jesse went over to assure her that ambulance were on their way, and she just let out a little scream. Must have been seriously surreal to have two guys that are on television as first responders appear out of nowhere and start helping you, especially since it is the two guys who actually play brothers. It had to have been a wild experience, and honestly, I would probably have wondered if I didn't just have a massive head injury injury that was leading to hallucinations, which real-life locations inspired the show. Some of the most iconic scenes in Chicago Med happened on the top of the roof of the hospital, and this is actually part of the real building for Rush University Medical Center that also works as the home base for most hospital parts of the show. Then there's a big part of all three shows that was inspired by a really historical place in Chicago. In the show, Molly's Bar is a historical place where all the firefighters, police, and doctors hang out after working hard on their respective shifts. Then some of the firefighters buy the bar and the tradition continues. But in reality, Molly's is called Lottie's and it has just as much and even more of a rich and incredible history in the real city of Chicago. At first, they filmed these scenes in the real Lotties, but as it became a bigger part of the show, they moved it to a set since you can still visit and eat at Lotties. We love to get to know more about Chicago shows and Med in particular. Which shows would you love to know more about? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching.